Hello, I am Niranjan and I uh, will be walking you through the data pre-processing that we have done for the uh, flight delay prediction project by IBM. Uh, initially, we are importing uh, all the libraries that are required for the models and other inbuilt features that we will be using through our program. Initially, we will be uh, trying to access uh, the file in our IBM Cloud object storage and we'll need credentials uh, to do so and that is the code that is over here and we'll have to add an iter method so pandas accepts body as file like object then we're looking at the columns which are basically the features will be uh, required to use the model uh, and then the data types of the features and we'll be dro dropping irrelevant data and we are finding the exact value counts of all fields then we'll be plotting a joint plot to look at the correlation between two features that we're looking at, which is CRS arrival time and arrival time. And we have, we see a mostly linear relationship. Then we're creating a copy of the data set for visualization. Then we convert all object data to numerical values to visualize on heat map. Then we have a heat map, which shows us the correlation between uh, different features in order for us to find out which two features have the highest correlation in order for us to train our model accordingly and we identify the correlation between arrival delay and other fields and then based on the correlation factors that we saw we'll be dropping these features mentioned over here then we check the data types of the columns remaining we find the missing values and we uh, replace them with mean and then we convert the float values to categorical values okay this is the part of the data pre-processing and on to sara to the next uh, phase of the project thank you so um, continuing with what Niranjan uh, told, so uh, data pre-processing was done from the data set. And after data pre-processing, we split the data into train and test sets. So 33% of the entire data set is kept aside for the testing part and the remaining forms the train part. So of, after like splitting the data into train and uh, test, the train data set is used to train different models. So here we have tried to like, uh, we have tried uh, five baseline ML models, which include a uh, decision tree classifier, support vector classifier, KNN, Gaussian naive base, and logistic regression. So coming, uh, coming with the decision tree classifier, this model obtained an accuracy of 91.2 the next model, which is a uh, SPC support vector classifier model, it obtained an accuracy of 90.9. And then the K nearest uh, neighbors model received an accuracy of uh, 93.1. And then the Gaussian neighbors model, it received an accuracy of 92.3. And the last model, which is the logistic regression model, obtained an accuracy of 94.09. So out of these uh, five ML models, the three best performing models were chosen and an ensemble of these three models was performed. A voting classifier was used uh, of uh, Gaussian Nebes, KNN and LR model. And the ensemble model obtained an accuracy of 94.2, which is like overall the highest accuracy thus obtained. And this model is used for the prediction of flight delays. So the final ensemble model is being saved into a flight uh, pickle dot uh, flight dot pickle file. And this is integrated with Flask and this is used to predict the uh, flight delays. Hi, this is Pradashni and I'm going to run you through our system. This is the home page of our uh, flight delay prediction system where there is a message saying welcome on board and our title. Once a user opens the system, they'll probably move to login, where if they don't have an account, there's an option to sign up. And once once they click the sign up button, they're redirected to the sign up page where there's a prompt asking for the username and password. Once that is done, they're asked for a valid user email ID. And once they click on the sign up button, they are again redirected to the login page with the message saying you have successfully registered. Now there's an option to again give uh, the username and password and login. 
Upon logging in, they are taken to our uh, home page where there is a message saying logged in successfully, head out to predict. You know, we have a page for prediction where there is a message with the hi and with hi and username which is prayer 3 and um, the flight details are asked here. So for our test running, I'm going to give two test cases. One is where the flight is delayed and one where it is not delayed. For the delayed, let me give a random departure date with a proper flight number. This is um, taken from our data set where this, fi this flight has actually been delayed. So I'm going to give that as our input and check if our output is correct. Upon clicking submit, we have our uh, output which says arrival is delayed by more than 15 minutes, which is correct. For the next test case, let me give a flight that has not been delayed and see what the output is. Once the details are given, it says arrival is not delayed by more than 15 minutes, which is also correct. Once the user has predicted, they can opt out to log out. And upon clicking log out, they are taken to the home page where it says thank you, see you again. Hi, I am Shreya. In our previous section, we have explained how the system works using the right flow of events. We have predicted one delayed and one not delayed uh, prediction for flights. But in this phase, we are going to discuss how we have considered usability as an aspect and have handled all test cases and edge cases for providing an intuitive user-friendly application so that errors can be minimized on both the user end and the system end. So starting with the home page, we have uh, made sure that messages pop up uh, for information so that any kind of user can use the system with ease. If we log out without logging in, it will say you need to log in. And uh, in our sign up page, if we enter existing credentials, uh, if we enter existing username or an existing email ID, it will throw an error saying the account already exists and it will ask us to create a new account so that we don't create an extra uh, field in the database. Uh, so we have to only make sure that we enter new username and uh, email ID every time uh, someone signs up. So when we move to the login page and if we enter wrong credentials like this, it will throw incorrect username and password. It will ask us to try again. Uh, once we log out and we go to predict, it will ask you to sign, uh, it will ask you to log in again because a prediction cannot happen without logging in. So that is one more edge case we have considered so that our system works without any hassle for any kind of a user. So these are the major test cases which are handled by our system to make sure that it is very user friendly and also uh, we maintain the standards of the system. Thank you.